When the Bose QC35 Series 2 were first released in late 2017, they were the first headphones on the market to support Google Assistant integration. Now fast forward to 2019 and most new premium ANC headphones now feature some type of voice assistant integration. Some headphones like the Bose QC35 or Sony 1000 XM3s let you choose between using Google Assistant or Alexa. But now, the Bose QC35 Series 2 are also the first headphones on the market to support augmented reality. Now, I'm gonna be honest, Bose AR is still very much in its infancy and it's only available on specific Bose QC35s. But, I thought it'd still be cool to check out. Now, like I just said, Bose AR is only available on specific Bose QC35s and it's also available on Bose's new frames. Well, personally, I wouldn't even bother picking them up, but that's just me. Now, Bose AR is only available on Bose QC35 Series 2 that were manufactured after November 2018. So to see if your Bose QC35s are compatible with Bose AR, first you should update the Bose Connect app then tap on the gear icon in the top right, scroll down to product info, and then you'll see a tab that says date of manufacturing. Now, Bose AR isn't available on older Bose QC35s because Bose quietly did a low-key hardware refresh on their headphones. Bose AR works off of using raw sensor data collected from a newly implemented accelerometer, gyroscope, and compass found in newer QC35s. Now, the addition of these new sensors shouldn't have had been a challenge for Bose's engineering team, and I think it's smart Bose did this minor hardware refresh on the download because if Bose decided to name these slightly retooled QC35s the Bose QC35 Series 3, then people would have been super disappointed because there's just so much anticipation and hype around the fabled Bose QC45s. Okay, so just what the heck is Bose AR? Bose is trying to take a sound-first approach to augmented reality to create new audio experiences and apps that react to your current location and how you move about an environment. And thanks to the new sensors built into the new QC35s, you now have a few new gestures at your disposal to interact with these apps. Now, there's currently a very short list of Bose AR apps that Bose is currently showcasing. But since they're still in their infancy, I found them to be very underwhelming and some of them even routinely crashed on me, but that's okay. But in this video, I'm gonna be showcasing two apps that I think do a very good job of demonstrating the accuracy and potential of Bose AR. First is Bose's own radar app. And here you can see that you can tap on the headphones to make a selection. And you can also see that as I move my head, that around the screen also moves somewhat accordingly. Now, don't freak out, the Bose QC35s don't have a touch pad all of a sudden. The built-in accelerometer is simply registering the haptic feedback from my taps. So you can tap the headphones anywhere, really. Okay, now we're gonna check out one of Bose's own 360 degree audio scenes. You'll notice that as I move around, the music is going to change in relation to my orientation. Listen specifically for the drums. So, like you just heard, as I moved around, the audio playing in the headphones changed accordingly, making it feel like I was in the middle of a live band. Now, the next step is going to showcase the new head gestures found on the new Bose QC35s. These head gestures include nodding, shaking your head, and tilting your head to the left or right. But most importantly, you'll see the level of accuracy these headphones have when it comes to registering these new gestures. Don't speak. They're listening. Your Bose device will enter transmit mode. When you hear the transmit tone, nod your head to acknowledge. Good. Martha, NSA. I'm communicating with you through telepathy. Your device is a prototype receiver. 
Tuning the other direction. Tilt your head to the right this time. Good. Uh, no. Wait. Uh, I didn't register right. Try the right side. The entity with which you do communication is not what it seems. So, like you may have just seen, gesture recognition on the Bose QC35 is, is pretty accurate. I just personally wish that nodding didn't have to be as exaggerated. I found that if I were to nod my head in a much more subtle and natural manner, it wouldn't have had registered as easily. But I personally think the new gestures available on the new Bose QC35s could really come in handy when it comes to interacting with your voice assistant. Imagine if you ask Google Assistant to send out a text to someone, and after Google Assistant processes your request and reads the text back to you before sending instead of verbally having to approve the text message, you could simply just nod your head yes to let Google Assistant know that your text says what you want it to say and that they should go ahead and send it out. Or imagine if you tell Google Assistant you're looking for lunch, but you don't know where to go or what you're in the mood for. Google Assistant could then start reading off the top rated dishes of the restaurants near you and you can shake your head no until you hear something that you might like. Nod your head yes and then Google Assistant will start navigating to that restaurant. What I'm getting at is I think these new head gestures could open the possibility of being able to communicate with your virtual assistant in a non-verbal way just like we do sometimes with one another. But still, like I said at the beginning of this video, Bose AR is still very much in its infancy and it could definitely flop like Google Glass did a few years ago. But as more developers get their hands on Bose AR, maybe we'll see more robust apps pop up. I personally think Bose AR could prove useful when it comes to interacting with your voice assistant on your headphones and it could also be useful for new entertainment applications. But for those wondering, no, you don't have to run out and pick up a fresh pair of Bose QC35s to mess around with Bose AR. It still has a lot of growing up to do. But maybe Bose AR will be pretty big on the fabled Bose QC45s if they ever come out. But comment down below, what ideas do you have for Bose AR? If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video, so hit that like button and get subscribed. It helps out more than you realize. If you want to pick any other products up mentioned in this video, those will be linked in the description down below, and you can also support the channel by checking out the merch store. But other than that, I'll catch you next time.